at that beautiful sunset. Hello YouTube, and welcome to the actual sun. Now, um, welcome to a new space tutorial. Yep. So, what we're going to do today is carry on with our death thing, but we're going to improve it, well, by miles. So we're going to add the explosion, what I wanted, so boom, we can just rip it straight from the enemy eye. We need to make it come up, we need to wait it for a loading screen, then we need to actually show the loading screen. So we have all this stuff already, it's just a case of putting it and coding it, really easy. So we're going to go to our resources, and to our prefabs, to our entity, uh, okay, not our entity, HUDs, no, um, we'll go to our enemy enemies then, and rip the particles straight out of them, which they again do not have. So we need to find the correct one, which is explosion prefab right here, right I've got it. And then we need to pretty much stick that near the character, kind of. We're going to use the exact same code, so it's really easy. So we're going to open up space enemy AI. And at the top I'm going to copy explosion prefab, this one here. And I'm actually going to stick it in collisions, yes. I'm going to weirdly stick it in here, which is, again, very weird. But we're not going to use it as a normal variable. We're going to use the resources to go and fetch it. And the reason we're doing that is so then we don't have to assign any unnecessary things to our land one. It'll go and go it for us. So it's really easy. So we already know the resources code, so we can begin using it. So is dead here. So if the player's dead, it loads the level. Okay. So we'll put it above it to spawn it. So we'll that var explosion equals resources dot load and then we put in brackets what we want so we want um, inside our resources then I believe it's inside prefabs then particles so prefabs backslash particles backslash and then what do we want to load I guess so so we want to load fire and then we put as game object after it so that should hopefully load it so we'll save and hopefully it does so just quickly flip the slashes on the other way I always get confused because in C sharp programming it is actually the other way which is really weird but now we need to spawn them so we're going to type var spawn explosion and then we're going to type um, equals instan t8 and then we're going to put what we want to spawn so explosion where do we want to spawn it at transform dot position which is our characters there we go our character and then we want to spawn it at quaternion dot identity and what quaternion dot identity does if you still don't understand because not many, many people do is it'll spawn it at the exact same rotation you saved it as a prefab so this has got 000 as a prefab. It'll spawn it at 000. If it had 0750, it'll spawn it in the world 0750. If you want to change it yourself, simply just type vector 3 and put your coordinates in, and that's how you do it yourself. So it's really simple. So that'll be there. It should fade out automatically. There, so it'll fade out, boom, fade out slowly. Then the other thing what we need to do is make it wait before it loads the level. So we're going to put yield dot, well, yield wait for seconds, and then we'll put how many seconds to, so you've just seen yourself exploded, you're dead pretty much. We need to destroy the ship, so, well, the ship's gone. So we're going to game object dot find ship and then destroy it. So destroy game object dot find ship. And the reason I'm doing that is because then it'll explode, you'll see your ship well, you'll see no ship, it'll just be dead. You'll see the explosion two seconds later, application not load level. Really simple, simple. So we're just going to test that before we load the level, otherwise we'll get, well, in fact, I think we should do the loading screen first then. I'm going to find our loading screens, HUD's loading screen. I'm just going to drag it straight out because we don't need to do much. Put it to zero, 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 and that should work. So if we turn it on, you can't see it in game, you have to play, I remember. That's a new thing, so play. And we're missing a texture, so we assign one. So the glitch is with GUI textures, Unity's updated it, you have to play the game in order to see them. Very inconvenient, but hey. So we're going to go and activate our loading screen. So if we open it up, you'll see that it's this code here loading screen.loading screen on equals true. 
then it'll do it, load everything for us. <coughs> Works really well, choose us a random picture as well. So we're going to go back to our um, collisions, there we go, and I apologize for that. And in here, we're simply going to type um, loading screen arm equals true. We'll give it a yield dot weight of 0 0.3. And the reason we've given it 0 0.3 is because then it'll load, wait two seconds, the screen will come on, but then it'll wait 0 0.3 seconds, then it'll carry on loading it. Otherwise, it might be too fast, you'll not be able to see it. So, and we'll also put these ship starts up here. Otherwise, you're not, it'll not work. So I'm leaving the audio off, so let's try it, it should work. So we play and we need to go and die. I hate saying that, but hey. So I'll come back when it's nearly done. So we're nearly dead, and you will see the prefab you want to instantiate is null. So we have an error right there, so we need to go and fix that. So obviously there's only one place, so if we grab take away the slash, I'm guessing that should work. So let's test it. So again, I'll be back in a minute. So we're back and boom, we're dead. Loading screen and we're on, perfect. Obviously the loading screen needs to be fixed, stuff like that. It works though, I'm happy with it. So we're gonna go back to our loading screen quickly and I apologize for this um, thing. I really don't know how, how that keeps happening, but hey. I'm gonna put it to zero and zero, at X and Y, so it's in the top center. I'm going to set the width to 1024 by 768, which is the size of my viewport here. You can tell by going and clicking that. So that should pretty much spawn it, bang on where it should be. One thing I want to test again is getting shot by enemies, so shoot me. So as you can see, we are getting absolutely destroyed, so I'll be back when we're nearly dead. Oh, we're nearly dead already, so. And boom, we're on fire, loading. There's our loading screen, boom. Perfect, so it works really well. Obviously there's some fluttering and some glitches between switching levels, but we can iron them out later. Um, I think that's all we're gonna do for this tutorial. I know the last one will work, but um, we don't really need to test it. The sun will work. One thing I do want to do though, is pretty much move the camera. Um, well, disable the camera really, so then it comes back, because at the moment when you die, you can still move. So we need to disable the character as well, but not the main camera so we can take it out and then change it kind of thing so in here if we simply type down here put that there so I can see the names just be before it destroys the ship or after it's up to you we're going to type game object dot find main camera fps just like that and then we'll put dot transform dot parent equals null so it's got no parent on it so that should work fine. And then what we also can do is go to our character and we need to just disable um, a couple of scripts, not them all, because I don't want to disable them all. Because if we disable everything, we'll leave the collisions off so then it won't carry on its code. That's not what we want. So we're going to type game object dot find character dot get component movement space movement dot enabled equals false. So we're going to just do this for a couple of ones which you shouldn't be able to do. So space fire, space movement, and mouse look. Obviously it will enable it again when we come back on, but I am going to try and find a code which does everything except ones we want, so it'll work a lot better. So at final death, I'm going to try and fly all the way. In fact, no, I'll just get shot again because it works really fast. So I'm going to go and get myself killed, <laughs> kind of, and then we'll come back in a minute. So, kill me. I wonder if I can shoot him before he kills me. Nope, missed him. And of course our bullets aren't working on them because that's always what we want. And, fire, and we load. Perfect. Obviously we could get rid of the GUI textures as well, but we don't really want to. Yeah, we'll just leave it, that'll work. So, quick tutorial to do that. It looks better than it did, definitely. There's a lot of bugs, but we will iron them out eventually, trying to keep the tutorials under 10 minutes, because it works better. 
I really hope you liked it. Ooh, look at all the asteroids. Thank you for watching, and what we'll eventually do on this is create a bump map so it looks like they're actually 3D. Thank you for watching.